summertime is always a very busy time on the island of Sodor. Holiday makers flock far and wide to see the sights and sounds of the railway. With the increased workload, the Fat Controller often adds extra trains to keep up with the high demand. All over the railway, the engines were becoming hot and bothered. One morning, the Fat Controller arrived at Titmouth Sheds. He had a very important announcement. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see everyone awake and ready for... Percy! Wh wh uh, I'm up. I'm up. As I was saying, it's nice to see everyone up and ready to work, even if it seems to be hotter than usual today. Now, before I issue the jobs for everyone, I want to remind you all to keep up the good work. As you all know, summer is a very busy time for us, but each and every one of you pull through with a smile on your face, and I'm proud of you all. Now, since the weather is a tad hotter today, trains will be more crowded, and the line to Bluffs Cove will be busier than ever. And I'm sure you would want a speedy and reliable red engine to take passengers to the beach, sir. Well, um, not exactly, James. I need you to... Take the goods train to Ulfstead Castle. Oh, not with those old timers. Emily, a goods train to Calsthorpe. Edward, you've got the local. Oh, yes, sir. And I'll be taking the express as usual today, sir. Indeed, Gordon. Huh. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Thomas, looks like there's a goods train due for the mainland. To the mainland, sir? Surely there's another engine better suited for a job like that. You're the only engine available right now. As you know, the summertime is busy. I have jobs for everyone else right here. Really? There's like a million engines on this island now. <sighs> yes, sir. What's the matter, Thomas? I thought you liked going to the mainland. I know, Percy. It's just, it seems I've been going everywhere lately. It doesn't hurt to be right at home on my branch line. Percy, I need you to take Annie and Clarabelle while Thomas is away. Toby will be available to assist you if you need it. Yes, sir. And Henry, there's another goods train on the mainland I need you to collect. Yes, sir. That's a good engine. Thomas headed to the shunting yards to collect his goods train. Meanwhile, on the other side of the island, Duck had just arrived at Vickerstown Goods Yard. As he puffed through the yards, he couldn't help the feeling that he was being watched. Drink at last. <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? Wait, Diesel? That's right. What are you doing here? Working like a proper engine does. I was wondering how long it would be before I ran into you again. That's funny. You never crossed my mind after you were sent packing. Well, if you must know, I'm head of the Vickerstown Goods Yard. What have you been doing? Running my own branch line, I'll have you know. I was told Rosie was in charge. I'll have you know! Alright, Diesel, that's enough. I see some coaches with your name on them that need shunting. <laughs> yes, Rosie. What's with him? I've seen him in a bad mood before, but never this bad. Oh, just some old friends catching up. We've never really seen eye to eye, me and that Diesel. <laughs> Do I even want to know? It's kind of a long story. Oh, Bear, that's not your train. Sorry, Duck, have to go. Cheerio, Rosie. Stupid duck, silly trucks, unbelievable. 
There you are. Well, if it isn't Tweedledee and Tweedledum, it's been a while. What do you two want? He would like to speak with you. Can't it wait till later? I'm working right now. Nope, it's time. Yeah, he means it this time. What time is it? I don't know. I don't have a watch. Stop. Just... Just stop. Fine. Let's go pay him a visit. Good morning, Thomas. What's so good about it? All I said was good morning. What's up with you? The Fat Controller is taking me away from my branch line today and is making me go to the mainland. Didn't you want to go to the mainland? Yeah, and I did. The mainland is kind of boring once you've seen the world. Uh, alright. Well, your train is almost ready. Follow me. Thomas followed Stanley to the other side of the yard. Stafford and Charlie had just finished shunting the last trucks into place. There you go, Thomas. Take care, it could be dangerous. Ha, what could be so dangerous about a couple of tankers and vans? Well, for one thing, those are fuel tankers, and one of those vans is carrying gunpowder. Gunpowder? Why am I taking fuel and gunpowder on the same train? Well, beats me. We're just filling an order. Besides, it's not all bad. There's also some delectable cheeses. Nervously, Thomas set off for the mainland. Later that day, a very grumpy steamroller and an ill-tempered diesel engine sat waiting. Are you done yet? <sighs> Have I been done the last few times you ask? You were supposed to be finished ten minutes ago. Do you want to do this? Last time I checked, I'm the one with the roller. Just hurry up. I've got to get back to Vickers Town. Find me when you've succeeded. And if you fail... Don't even bother coming back. There, done. Just in time, too. Now you know how it feels to be humiliated, Henry. Ah, uh, well, what happened? Hmm, it looks like the rails have been damaged. Strange, they were fine when we passed by earlier. They seem to have been flattened. Flattened? What could have caused that? Beats me, but we better call for help before an engine runs into us. Henry's fireman ran back to the nearest signal box and called for help. Edward was collecting passengers when the station master came running up. Edward, 
Henry has come off the line. You're the closest engine available. You need to go rescue him. Oh yes, sir. But what about my passengers? I'll call for another engine. Just hurry! Come on, Rocky. We've got an emergency. Right. I'm ready. Meanwhile on the mainland, Thomas had dropped off his goods train at Bridlington Goods Yard and was on his way back to Sodor. He had puffed through Barrow when suddenly two diesel engines rolled out of the shadows and raced past Thomas. Well, they were in a hurry. <laughs> Father, what's the holdup? I just want to go home. Sorry, Thomas. Henry's had an accident and it's still being cleaned up. I'm afraid it's going to be a while. You'll have to stay here for the night. <sighs> oh, hello, Thomas. Did you hear about Henry's accident? Yes, I did. That's why I'm sleeping here tonight. Well, you're always welcome here. Uh, thanks, Rosie. Um, where's Diesel? I'm not sure. He said he had another job to do earlier, but he hasn't returned yet. <sighs> oh well, I'm sure I'll be back by morning. Let's get some sleep. Good night, Rosie. Night, Thomas. The night was quiet as the engine slept. Only the sounds of a gentle wind blew and the clatter of the late night mail train. When, all of a sudden... Cinders and Ashes, what was that? Thomas! Percy, what happened? I, I, I don't know, I was just dropping off the mail at the station and there was this bright flash and a loud boom! We need to alert the search and rescue center! And the police! With a sound like that, I'm sure they know, Percy. We have to go see if anyone needs help! Thomas, Percy, and Rosie puffed quickly towards the station. As they arrived, they were shocked to see what they saw. Three fire engines were arriving on the scene. Townspeople rushed out to help in any way. Stay back, everyone! Help is here! The firefighters sprayed their hoses at the blaze. That doesn't look right. Cinders and ashes! The track! What's wrong, Thomas? The track, it, it's not there! It's collapsed! Thomas was right. The section of the viaduct that was holding the track up had collapsed, and they could see the ground below. We need to get out of here! It might not be stable. She's right, Thomas. Let's go. This is a Sodor Island News Alert. I am Cameron Coder, coming to you live from Vickerstown Railway Station, where about an hour ago, an explosion rocked the town and its railway. Only minor injuries have been reported so far, and those have been affected have been taken to hospital. Fire crews seem to have gotten control of the blaze and are confident that they will have it out soon. The cause of the explosion is currently being investigated, but authorities have not ruled out terrorism. Some viewers may recall, there was a similar explosion a few years back at an abandoned gas factory not far away from here. But authorities don't seem to think the two events are connected. Now, Vickers Town Station has stood for many years. Dear, oh dear, how could this have happened? Sorry, sir, but no one is allowed past this point. It's fine. He's the controller of the railway. Ah, very well, mate.
So, any idea what may have caused this? Not officially, no, but we have been able to identify some kind of locomotive wheels that were thrown free due to the explosion, as well as the exact location of where the accident happened. So, if I had to speculate, this was a railway accident. A railway accident? That's strange. None of the trams were out at that hour of the night. Pardon me, sir. We've gotten the fire out, but there's something you may want to see. But that doesn't make any sense. The fat controller was confused. In the smouldering remains, he was able to make out the shape of a vent van. How is this possible? Something you can think of, Sir Topham? Well, yes, but the tramway doesn't have any trucks, let alone vent vans. They aren't able to make it around the tight curves. Any ideas how they could have gotten down here then? Or how they could have caused an explosion? I don't know. But I think I know how we can find out. Please state your name for the record. Uh, per Percy, sir. I swear, I didn't do this. Percy, calm down. Nobody's accusing you of anything. They just want to know what you saw. So, you were at the scene of the accident? Y yes sir. I was dropping off the mail, then there was a bright flash, and then BOOM! I puffed back here as fast as I could. Alright, thank you, Percy. That will be all for now. Well, that didn't help a whole lot. On the contrary, officer. It did confirm there was a fuel tanker and a van involved. They must have rolled down the hill and derailed on the tight bend. The question still remains, where did they come from? What about the running number, sir? If it's not too badly burnt. That's a great idea. I can run it alongside the records at the shunting yard to find out what trains they were on. Jolly good idea, sir. Sir, we found something. But there's a problem. What's wrong? We found the running number, but... Part of it's been burned off. Well, what's left? One, two, two, zero, uh, six. All right, that should do. I'll run to the shunting yards and check the records. But, sir, what should we do about the operations of the station? When the authorities have given the all clear, just continue as normal and shut down the damaged lines. Yes, sir. George reported in. Last night's little accident was a success. Good work, Diesel. I knew I could rely on you. I should probably go before those nosy steamies start wondering where I am. I'll bring more news once I get it. Keep up the good work, Diesel. You know what will happen if you don't. E yes, Diesel 10. Yeah, uh. Boss. We've done it, boss. Victor's Town had no idea what hit it. Ah, <sighs> Victor's Town, you moron. Yeah, well, okay. Quiet! Have they found out where the trucks are from yet? Well, of course. Not yet. The fat one got the running number and is checking them as we speak. So. There's still a chance you'll fail. Well, yes and no. No, we won't fail. We took the train before anyone could even know it was delivered. Believe me, we have it under control. You better. Because you know what will happen if you fail me again. Y yes boss. And uh, n no need to worry. I've got this. We we we've got this. Good. Now go! We still have lots to do. Yes, yes boss. boss. So those are the two idiots you have? They're stupid. 
but trustworthy and get the job done. Besides, if anything goes wrong, they are willing to take the fall. Sounds like a better plan than what you had. Where did that lead? Oh yeah, in prison. Yeah, yeah, but thanks to you, I'm out. Even if it wasn't the most uh, conventional method. <laughs> Anyways, are they the only others to know? Yeah, everyone else is on their own little missions for revenge. And if anything goes wrong, we're high enough on the chain of blame that we'll be long gone before anyone finds out. And this is why you were always my favorite engine. <laughs> you too, Pinchy. You too. I promise you both, once this is all over, there will be plenty more scrap for you. <laughs> If you three know anything else, please let me know. I promise, sir, it wasn't any of us. Percy was delivering the mail, and Rosie and I were asleep. Oh my. Who could have done such a thing? First Henry, now this. What is going on with our railway? Well, I hope it wouldn't have come to this, but I ran the running numbers with the records at the shunting yard. And they were a part of Thomas's train. <gasps> what? I had nothing to do with this, sir. I promise all of you, I didn't do it. I left my train on a siding and went back home. They were still cleaning up Henry's accident, so I couldn't get to Tidmouth. Rosie and I woke up when Percy was pulling with the mail and saw the explosion. Percy? Like I said in the interview, I came into the station, saw a big boom, went to go tell Thomas and Rosie, and the next thing we knew, the viaduct was falling apart. It couldn't have been Rosie either. She was working here all day. It's true. I've been working here, but I haven't gone near the viaduct. I will speak with the yard manager when I get back to Knapford. Until then, we need to start repairing the damage. <laughs> all according to plan. So it turns out, Thomas was the one who blew up Vickers Town. No way! We should let everyone on the island know the truth before everyone tries to cover it up. Because he's the number one engine! Yeah, he can't get away with it. Soon, the news was spreading across the island. Are you sure Thomas would have done such a thing? I don't know about that, Thomas. He said sorry a bunch of times after crashing into me that it seems he wouldn't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, he kept helping me out every time I was being lazy. That's all the time. Uh, Thomas works in Vickerstown. That's why we're not fixing it. What he means is, it's no wonder we don't fix any steam engines. Are you sure, Diesel? Or I don't think Thomas would do anything like that. Yeah, Thomas is a good friend too. He's not like that at all. Are you sure? I know Thomas gets upset, mostly about losing to me all the time, but uh, he wouldn't go that far. Wait, who are you again? Cheer up, Thomas. We know you didn't do it. And as soon as the Fat Controller calls the Good Yard Manager, he will too. I know, but it still feels bad knowing that people actually think I could have done it. Thomas, I just got off the phone with the manager from the Good Yard, and he says that your train was never delivered. But sir, I did deliver it. If it was, why was I told otherwise? <sighs> I want to believe you, Thomas, but right now there are too many signs pointing right at you. Not even the Fat Controller believes me now. Well, look who it is, lads. The big blue blow-up. <laughs> Get it? Because he blew up the viaduct. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh, yeah? 
So why is he getting so defensive for someone who isn't the Mad Bomber? Because he didn't do it, Oil Brain. You know what? I can't take it anymore. If everyone's just going to insult each other and blame me for something I clearly didn't do, then I'm leaving. It's clear no one really wants me around right now. Thomas, wait! No, Percy. I'm leaving. Well, if you're going, then we're coming with you. Come on, Rosie. Well, I would, but I have a lot to do around here with the repairs. I'm sorry. Bye-bye, big blue blow-up! <laughs> you freak it out of here. I have work to do and I don't need you all sitting around being annoying! So, Thomas, where are we gonna go? I'm not sure, Percy, but right now, anywhere is better than here. Later, at Knapford, the Fat Controller had called some of his engines to give them new jobs. Gordon, with Henry at the Steamworks, I want you to help Murdoch and Hero with the repairs to Vickerstown. But sir, what about the Express? The integrity of the viaduct was cleared by the police, but I don't want to take any chances. So I want a lighter engine to take the Express until it's back on a more stable foundation. Bear, that's a job for you. Yes, sir. I won't let you down. James and Emily, normal passenger duties. Toby, I want you to help out near Vickerstown since you're familiar with the tramways. Flora can help you if needed. Thomas and Percy, I need... Wait. Thomas and Percy? Has anyone seen Thomas or Percy? No, sir. Not since this morning. Oh, boy. Thomas has gone missing again. Are we going to sing again? I've been practicing. If I were Thomas, I would probably hide too. Maybe we should split up and find them. Um, Rosie was with them earlier. Perhaps she might know where they went. Edward and Oliver, the two of you come with me. We're heading down to Vickerstown. Everyone else, you know your jobs. Please get to work and take care. I wasn't expecting you today. Is there something I can help you with? I hope so, Rosie. Do you know where Thomas and Percy have gone? Thomas and Percy? Uh, what are you looking for them for? Rosie, if you know where they are, I need you to tell me. Well, right after you left, sir, Diesel, Harry and Bert were making fun of Thomas because everyone believed he caused the explosion. He got so angry and felt like no one wanted him around and, well, he went to the mainland. Percy felt bad and went with him. The, the mainland? Thank you, Rosie. Come on, you two. We're going to the mainland. We have to find Thomas and Percy. Have you figured out where we're going to go yet, Thomas? My wheels are starting to ache. Uh, not yet, Percy. Uh, let's see. We could go to the steelworks. Uh, they could always use an extra engine or two there. The steelworks? Didn't they hold you captive? Why would you ever want to go back there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? It's... Oh, you. You're Thomas, aren't you? Uh, yes. That's me. Good. Get him, lads. Thomas, go! After him! Th 
Thomas, why are these diesels chasing us? I don't know, Percy. to exceed the set speed limit on the main line! Ugh, youngsters these days. Quick, Percy, this way! Why would those diesels want you, Thomas? I don't know, Percy. Don't worry, you're safe now. Oh, what was that? No need to be frightened. It's okay. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Merlin? Merlin? The invisible engine? It is I! Invisibility! Oof! Oh, Merlin! It's so good to see you again! It's good to see you too! And you... Um... I never actually got your name! You ran off pretty fast last time! Wait... You're the invisible engine? <laughs> That's me! But... I can see you! <laughs> Percy, this is Merlin! It's very nice to meet you again, Percy. I'm Merlin, the experimental King Arthur class stealth engine. Does he always introduce himself like that? Pretty much. Anyways, Merlin, do you know why those diesels were chasing us? I'm not sure, but I think it has something to do with the big diesel at the steelworks. Big diesel? What big diesel? Well, a couple of days ago, this big diesel engine came to the steelworks and threatened us. If we didn't leave, he would scrap all of us. He had a big claw, so we didn't argue with him. B wait, a claw? Thomas, is it who I think it is? Diesel 10. You know him? Not all that well. He came to Sodor long ago to help out, but caused nothing but trouble and grumbled all the time about wanting to scrap all steam engines. I see. Wait, if Diesel 10 took over the steelworks, where are the others then? They're safe. We escaped the steelworks and they're hiding away. Good. But the question remains, why? What is his plan? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Explain that just one more time. Ugh, weren't you listening the first time? We're going to take over Sodor. It's fairly simple, honestly. It's going to be crazy! See? They get it. And they're the dumbest ones here! <laughs> Wait, what? No, I understand what you said, but that's not what I agreed to. I was promised I was going to get revenge on the engines, not take over a whole railway. So, what I'm hearing is... You want Fat Hat to know you derailed Henry? Well... No. Just think about it, George. Once we take over Sodor, you can rip up and flatten any rails you want. Maybe even have a roller rink in place of the blasted shed. Then of course, if you don't... <laughs> ah, Diesel. So kind of you to join us. I have some good news. The Fat Controller has left Sodor! Good work, Diesel. Very good work indeed. Now what, boss? We go to Sodor and take 
over. And you are? You can call me Osborne. Theodore Osborne. It's time for the final nail in Topham's coffin. You heard him. Onward to Sodor. Wahoo! To Sodor we go. All right, let's do it. Let's start with our little steamer over there, then. <laughs> I'd rather she'd stay out of this. <sighs> Whatever, Diesel. Now, Spillage, you two stay here. Why us, boss? Yeah, why's it got to be us? Because you can be the, uh, lookouts. Oh, that sounds like fun. So what do we do first? Find Oliver. Oliver? He's on the mainland looking for Thomas. Bloody hell. I want to scrap him once and for all. We can't turn back now. We're not done. We can go for him later. Fine. Ari, Bert, go get Osborne's engines. They'll come in handy if anyone fights him back. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> So we've got to find, uh, who now? I don't remember their names, but they're all Diesels. Once we get there, we'll know who they are. All right, Diesel 10 will be so proud of us. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, they're working with Diesel 10. Why am I not surprised? Wait a minute. Is that... Thomas? Bear! What are you doing here? I'm taking the express. What are you doing here? The fat controller's worried about you two. I came here to get away from all the accusations back home, but now we're being hunted by Diesel 10. He's got Ari and Bird already working for him. Who knows who else is working with him? Diesel 10? Isn't he that big Diesel with a claw you all have talked about? That's him. But Thomas? Surely the fat controller can handle Diesel 10? He sent him away before. Have you not heard? The fat controller brought Edward and Oliver here to find you two. He's not even on the island right now. If he's not on Sodor, there's nothing stopping Diesel 10. <sighs> I just wish we knew what his plan was. Well, I'm heading back to Sodor right now. Maybe I can get some information out of someone. I am a Diesel after all. <laughs> That's a great idea, Bear. You can be our insider. Oh, like a spy? Exactly, Percy. I'll see what I can find. Be back soon. Wait a minute. How do we know we can trust him? Bear is our friend, Merlin. I trust he can help us out. Halt! Who goes there? What are you doing? I was about to ask you the same thing. Yeah, we'll ask the questions around here. Shut it, numbnuts. I do the talking. Well, I just finished a rather long passenger train, and I like to go back to the sheds. So, if you could, stand aside. Afraid not. We have our orders. If you don't move along and let me through, I'll be sure to report this as an act of rebellion against Diesel 10. And I'm sure he would not like to hear that. 
<coughs> oh, wait. You're with the boss, too? Why didn't you say so? Curry right on. Welcome to Sodor. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Population? I can't count. Uh, sorry about the confusion. <laughs> huh. That was easy. Charming sight, isn't it? So soothing. Just imagine that's you, George. A roller rink for your wheels only. Goodbye turntable. Hello, roller rink. Hello, roller rink. But we can dream about that later. We have work to do. Yes, uh, sir. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Osborne was having troubles of his own. For the fifth time, where did the fat controller take Oliver? Uh... Oliver? Uh, which one's that? Ah, <sighs> this is impossible. Hello? What's going on here? Oh, finally! A competent engine! And who are you? Doesn't matter. Where's Oliver? Uh, on the mainland. When will he be back? No idea. Why are you so interested in Oliver, though? Surely you can find another engine to do what you want. Not this. It's sort of... Special for him. Uh, Mr. Osborne, your visitors are here. Oh, great! Visitors? You! Can you take me to the station? Oh, um, sure. This might be my chance to learn what they're planning. Good engine, let's go! <laughs> uh, what was I doing here again? Don't look at me. Oh. Why are we here again? Yeah, I was enjoying a nice nap in the shed. Quiet! All will be explained soon. Ah, good to see you old rust buckets are still operational. Watch it, Osborne. We can easily go back to our line. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait. Wasn't there four of yous? Where's the other one? Sold. To get funds to maintain the line you let fall into disrepair. What do you want us here for anyway? I have a very important job for you, in fact. My old engine, Oliver, has gone to the mainland with Topham. I want you three to search for him, and bring them to me, so I can scrap Oliver once and for all! That's it? So you brought us here, just to send us back to the mainland? Do it! Or the next place you'll be, is in pieces on top of a scrap pile! Well, <laughs> uh, since you put it that way... <clears throat> yeah, let, let's go lads. And who are you? I'm Bear. Uh, okay, 
Better question. Why are you here? Calm down, Diesel 10. He's fine. He's a Diesel 2. Diesel never mentioned a bear in his debriefs. Well, when I hear about the worthy cause, I'm ready to jump on board. It's enough interrogating, Diesel 10. If he's willing to help, we can let him. I trust him. Better than some of the other soft Diesels on this stupid railway. If you say so. Good. Now, we have plans to focus on. Go make sure that idiot steamroller isn't off doing something idiotic. I'm going to check out my new office. And how do you think you're going to get there? Hmm. Bear, you're a solar engine. You could be my transportation. Help me blend in around here. Easy access back and forth as well. Oh, yes, sir. Right then, off we go. Get things done, Diesel 10. Get things done, Diesel 10? Bossing me around? Me! This was my plan to begin with. Idiot. Forgive me for being so direct, especially since I'm new to this, but what is your plan then? Oh dear bear, you have much to know. <laughs> Many years ago, I reclaimed my property from this railway. But your thick and true wasn't going to be cooperative with me, you know I was arrested. While I was in that rotting cell, I thought every day about how to get back at him. Many ideas came to me, some not so pleasant ones, I might add. Until Diesel 10 turned up. Once I was free, he told me about a personal vendetta he had with the steam engines on this railway. Thomas in particular. So, we hatched a plan. To get revenge on Oliver, Thomas, and the Fat Controller. There would be various, uh, incidents on this railway to make it look unsafe. So everything that's been happening lately, Henry's accident, Vickerstown, that was all your plan? Precisely. Thankfully, we didn't have to do it alone. Diesel 10... persuaded, shall we say. Diesel to recruit a few friends here to assist. Of course, they all thought they were just fulfilling their revenge, but either way, all the parts fell into place, and here we are. Now that that Fat man is off the island, and this railway's without a controller. Soda will be mine! <laughs> what about Thomas? What about him? He's not going to be a problem, so nothing to worry about. Soon as he's found, he's a goner in Diesel 10's book. Thank you, Bear. You are very useful. I look forward to working with you more in the future. Oh, uh, you're welcome, s sir. Wait a minute. That's Oliver's old manager. What is he doing back here? And why did Bear call him sir? Doc. Bear, what's going on? Shh. Oliver's manager. He's working with Diesel 10 to take over Sodor. Diesel 10? The accident of Vickerstown. That was him. The manager told me himself. He thinks I'm working with them. You've got to warn the other engines quickly and stay away from Diesel, Ari, Bert and George. I've got to let Thomas and Percy know. Get the other engines, Doug. Hurry! Ooh. Uh, right. Will do. Best of luck on your mission, Bert.
duck? What's the hurry? <gasps> Diesel 10 is back. That's not something to joke about, duck. I'm not joking, Gordon. Bert told me that he and Oliver's old manager have a plan to take over the whole railway. And the explosion at Vickerstown, it was all him. We have to warn everyone. Bear also warned me to stay away from Diesel, Ari, Bert, and George. We think they're in on it too. That would explain why he was spreading the rumor of Thomas causing the explosion. I wonder if that's why that silly steamroller has been lurking around here lately. Wait, what? He was just sitting there watching me on the turntable earlier. It was actually quite unsettling, really. Well, if George has been around here, you need to be careful with what you say. He might warn Diesel 10 and the manager. Thanks for the warning, Duck. We'll pass it on. Right. I'm off to warn the Harwick crew. Stay safe and be on your guard. You too, Duck. I just wish the Fat Controller Edward were here. They'd know what to do. Excuse me, have you seen this engine? He's blue, with a number one. He's travelling with a small green engine. Oh yes, I saw the blue engine. He dropped off a train here the other day. He did? But that would mean... Oh dear. Any luck, sir? Not at finding him, no, Edward. I excuse me? I heard you were looking for a blue tank engine. Oh yes! Have you seen him? Oh yes. I'll show you where. Just come with me. You actually seem familiar. Have we met before? Wait, Edward, no! Oliver, what's going on? Oh, no! I have to say, you sure are some tough engines to find. Mr. Osborne has been looking all over. Especially for you, Oliver. <laughs> Let's go, lads. He'll never get away with this. Hmm. Something tells me we already have. Oh, wait! Where are you going? Come back! Wait! wait come wait. back! And where are you going? Oh, uh, Mr. Osborne wants me to collect something from the mainland. Uh-huh. And what would that be then? Oh, just something, something important. Be back soon. <sighs> Follow him. Something doesn't seem right. Thomas. Percy. Over here, Bear. Oh, I'm glad you guys are still okay. Did you get any information? Well, it's true. Diesel 10 is looking for you, Thomas. And how do you know this? They think I'm working for them. Oliver's manager trusts me completely for some reason, and he told me everything. So, what's their plan? Bear explained everything to them. By the time he had finished, they were all very worried. Take over the whole railway? We have to stop him! I don't know how we could- Well, well, well. What do we have here? You were right, boss. He led us right to him. Oh no! Hello, Thomas. Lovely to see you again. <laughs> Get him, boys! Get out of here! Bear! What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll hold them off. Just go! Don't! You're coming with me! Hey! 
Get back here! What are we gonna do, Thomas? I don't know, Percy. Wait a minute. I know this canal. Beresford! Thomas? Ah, Thomas! So nice to see you again. I have a funny story to tell you about. Beresford, help us! Oh, no, you don't! Leave my friend Thomas alone! Yeah! Hold! Well done, Beresford! Anything for a friend? Uh, I think that might have been a bit much. You think? Boss was right. They are pretty fast for steam engines. Finally, something I can agree with you on. This way! Uh, now what? Merlin, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Invisibility on! <laughs> where, where aren't they go? The boss isn't going to be happy about this. I think he has his claw full already with that other engine. Where'd they go? I don't know. What did you tell them? You'll never know. But they weren't the only ones who knew. Who else knows? I'll never tell you. Then what use are you to me? Tell me why I shouldn't just scrap you right here, right now! If that's what you want to do, go for it. But I'll protect my friends before I tell you anything. So be it! Stop! He's not worth the time. Besides, we have something else to attend to. They found Oliver and Fat Hat. What? No! Shut up! Oh. Oh. You uh, never win. Shut up! To think I actually trusted you. I'm looking forward to scrapping you. We have to get back to Sodor, Thomas. If Diesel 10 is planning on taking over, we have to help our friends. I know, Percy, but I don't know what to do. Thomas, you always tell us we can do whatever we want to. If anyone can think of how to take him down, it would be you. Thank you, Percy. <sighs> we have got to take him down, whatever it takes. I'm with you, Thomas. Me too. Us, too. Huh? Wh what are you all doing here? We heard what was going on. And even if Sodor isn't where we actually live, it's our home too. They aren't going to take it without a fight. Right. Let's go get our friends. For Sodor! For Sodor! For Sodor! For Sodor!
us? Bear! What happened? I'll explain later. Diesel 10 and the manager. They're heading to Titmouth. They found Edward, Oliver, the fat controller. You have to stop them. What about you? I'll be fine. Just go. Wait. I'm coming with you. Right. Connor, Caitlin, and Scotsman, you stay here in case someone tries to escape the island. Everyone else, follow me. Thomas, so kind of you to finally join us. Let them go, Diesel 10. No, why would I want to do that? Why don't you be a good engine and give up? It'll make it easier to scrap you all. Starting with you, Oliver, once and for all! You really are a horrid creature. How can you be Shut so- Shut it, Oliver! Well, I don't want to hear your pathetic pleas again. As long as one engine stands against you, Diesel 10, he'll never be able to claim victory. Ah, a noble sentiment from one who's about to be scrapped. We won't stop until we take you down. Take me down? <laughs> Never learn, do you? How many times did you try to take me down all these years? You tried sugar, a broken viaduct, an old tramp steamer, sending me to sort scrap, trying to take back Percy and Kevin, not letting us have our own Christmas decorations. You must be completely aware that you can't defeat me. I'll just keep coming back. And since you've been such a pain, we'll be scrapping you last. You'll watch your friends die before you meet your fate, you oversized toy. Unless you get in our way, I can make an exception for you. Now, bring me, Oliver. <laughs> Diesel. Bring Oliver over here now! Don't do it, Diesel! No! What did you just say? I said no! This was not part of the plan! All of this! I don't even know why I agree to this anymore! Petty revenge, I get! But now, it's scrapping engines? You are completely out of your mind! <laughs> oh, Diesel. You make one friend, and now you want to act all high and mighty? Think about what you're doing. Do you really want to defy me? With what I know? I don't care anymore. You've held that against me since you found out, and I'm done. To true friendship, how long you've known each other means absolutely nothing! You will care when you end up on the scrap pile yourself! Then you better save room. Go, Oliver! Run! What? No! You're not getting away from me this time. Off to him, Diesel 10! Ugh, fine! Oh, no you don't! George, stop him! Stay away from my roller rink! Don't worry, Oliver. I'm coming! Oh, no. Go get him, Thomas! Well, that's not what I meant to do.
Faster, Diesel 10! Faster! Shut it! I'm gonna go as fast as I can. You traitor! When I'll see to it, you are the cherry on top of the scrap cake. Urgh! You useless blue puffball! Hey, Thomas! Catch this! Diesel! Don't worry about me! After him! Thomas, I'm running out of water. I'm here, Oliver. Keep going. That sounds like Thomas. Ooh, and he looks like he needs some help. What can we do? Whatever we can. Thomas, I'm out of water. So am I. <laughs> and just in time, too. You have been a pain in my claw this entire time. Any last words before you meet your builder? <laughs> yes, actually. Look out for those flatbeds. What? We heard you could use some help. Theo? Hello! Beresford told us you were being chased. Hope we're not too late. Just in time, actually. Get back on the rails, you idiot! Because that's something I can do? Oh, be quiet. Useless trains! Uh, we're actually engines. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Ouch! Thomas! Are you alright? I'm fine, Percy. Thanks to a little help. I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. Not scrapped. Frankie! Theo! Lexi! So this is where you've been, Merlin. We were worried when we couldn't find you at the steelworks. Well done, Thomas. Sir? You're okay? Yes, Thomas, I am. And thanks to you, so is everyone else. Well done, Thomas. Thank you, sir. So, what should we do with him? Where, huh? Where, where am I? What? What's happened? I think I have an idea. With that said, let's all get back to work. We still have a railway to run. Yes, sir. We could use a push to the water tower first. Oh, I could help with that. I do hope someone comes by soon. Of course, after all I've done, I can see why no one would. 
I found him! He's over here! Thomas? Thomas! You're in one piece! And... And you came back! Of course I did, Diesel. Diesel! Oh, dear. I'm extremely disappointed with your behavior the last few days. Working with Diesel 10 and spreading rumors around my railway. I'm sorry, sir. There's no excuse for it. I was just worried. I actually started to enjoy working in Vickerstown, and I didn't want to lose that opportunity. If only I hadn't asked Diesel 10 for help, none of this would have... Wait, you asked Diesel 10 for help? With what? <sighs> Do you remember last winter, when Gordon and Henry had their accidents? Of course. It's not every day you get accused of causing an accident. Well, I may have caused it. What? what? But I thought it was Donald's plow catching on the rail that caused it. I thought we all agreed on it. Yeah, and there was that C T T V C. There was a movie about it. That was partly true. A few hours before, I was taking some trucks back to Vickers Town. I didn't really want to do it, so I was riding roughly, and when I got to that section, I rolled over and knocked part of the rail out of place. I knew I had done it, but didn't really care and just wanted to get out of there. Soon after, Donald and Douglas must have come by, and Donald's plow must have knocked it further out of place, causing the crash. But we all saw the CCTV footage. You weren't in it. That's where Diesel 10 came in. When I heard about the accident, I knew it had been my fault. So I went to Diesel 10 and told him what I had done. He told me he'd make it disappear and asked Mr. Osborne to sneak in and delete that footage. But because I asked for his help and told him everything, Diesel 10 blackmailed me into making sure I continued to work with him, even after I started to work with Rosie. I should have been honest from the beginning, sir, and I'm truly sorry. I understand if you want to send me away or even scrap me. No, Diesel, I'm not going to send you away. I am, however, proud of what you did this afternoon. You put your own life on the line to help save Oliver. I can see working with Rosie has rubbed off on you, and I wouldn't want to take that away permanently. But as punishment for your more recent behaviour, you will work at the waste dump for the next week. As you wish, sir. Now let's get you back to the diesel works. We can't have you out of action for too long. The engines worked hard to finish the repairs to Vickers Town. But no one worked harder then Thomas. There you go, Thomas! Thanks, Jack. Merlin, what are you doing here again? Hello, Thomas. Sir Thompson Hat asked us to supply the rails for your reconstruction project. The steelworks is back in business. <laughs> it's your top hem hat, Merlin. But it's great to see you again. You'll be seeing a lot more of us around, Thomas. But for now... Invisibility, Invisibility on! <laughs> Where did they go? They can't have actually turned invisible, can they? Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> So I have to ask, what ended up happening with Diesel 10 and that Osborne fella? Well, 
For Diesel 10, the fat controller ended up sending him to the smelter's yard. He scrapped him? <laughs> no! He sent him there to work. That claw fist must have hit him one too many times. He doesn't seem to remember a single thing. So I don't think he'll be trying to take over Sodor again anytime soon. As for Osborne, I don't really know. Hopefully we'll never have to hear from him again either. <sighs> I'm just glad everything is beginning to go back to normal. I'm sure you're just glad to be home too. Honestly, Merlin, there really is no place I'd rather be. <laughs> You find anything yet? Not yet. Maybe if we're lucky that psycho was washed away for good. Huh? Probably washed up on some deserted island or something. seen you before oh yes you're him the wanted controller guy eh eh hey where'd he go who one of these days they'll all pay <laughs> 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 